Not too glacier. Not too bad. Good evening and welcome to tonight's council meeting for September 12, 2023. Clerk will call the roll, please. Tauschek? Here. Herman? Here. Matsdorf? Here. Gilson? Here. Hildebrand? Here. Penquitz? Here. Chilski? Nelson? Here. Let the record show we have a quorum. Next is a pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item on the agenda is the approval of the consent agenda. The chair will entertain a motion. Motion to approve. Second. We have a first and a second. Any discussion? Clerk will call the roll, please. Nelson? Yes. Hildebrand? Yes. Matsdorf? Yes. Penquitz? Yes. Tauschek? Yes. Herman? Yes. Gilson? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Next item is the uh, is the audience portion where we ask people to sign in and be recognized. You do the talking, we do the listening. Uh, tonight, no one signed in, but we certainly encourage participation in the council meeting. Item five is not needed. No items were removed from the consent agenda. Item six, public hearing. I declare a public hearing open. For ordinance number nine, an ordinance creating section 13 1 140 per NB per N3 of the City of Plymouth, Wisconsin zoning code regarding accessory structures of 160 square feet or greater. And I'll ask our city administrator Tim Blakely to give us a brief comment and then I'll open it up for any other comments from the floor. Tim. Sure, so the zoning code specifies requirements for accessory structures in the city of Plymouth. Um, however, it currently does not specify that an accessory structure over a certain um, size must comply with foundation requirements as required in our code. Um, and for safety purposes, it's large enough uh, to function as a garage. Uh, the recommendation of our building inspector, uh, Pete, who's here tonight, um, after review of peer communities is to require that an accessory structure uh, equal to uh, or in excess of 160 square feet be required to meet the garage foundation and footing requirements of section 15-2-12D uh, of the municipal code. Um, the reason for this is twofold. First, as these accessory structures get larger, uh, they need to be held down for safety purposes. Um, if you have questions about wind load, I think Pete is your kind of your resident expert here and what can happen um, during a windstorm. Um, second, uh, the building inspector has begun to see a, a number of accessory structures that are being sold to residents as sheds, um, but they're really sort of um, prefab garages, uh, making a uh, may being large enough to have a vehicle fit inside. Um, so the recommendation of staff is to approve ordinance number nine, creating section 13-1-140B3 of the zoning code. Um, I will say that the plan commission at the meeting on September 7th did unanimously recommend um, by a vote of six to zero uh, to approve the ordinance as presented. Thank you. This being a public hearing, the chair will uh, entertain any other comments uh, regarding this subject matter. Sure, any detached accessory structure equal to or exceeding 160 square feet must comply with okay. the garage foundation and footing requirements of section 15-1-12D. Okay. Is that satisfactory, Pete? Yeah, I just, I just wanted to confirm that if for some reason I remembered it was exceeding, I just remembered the exceeding 160, so. Okay. Any other public comment? I declare the public hearing over. The chair will entertain a motion for adoption of ordinance number nine as indicated. Okay. Alder Hildebrand. I'll make a motion to accept uh, ordinance number nine as indicated. I'll second the motion. 
We have a first and a second. Any discussion? Clerk will call the roll, please. Herman? Yes. Matsdorf? Yes. Penquitz? Yes. Gilson? Yes. Nelson? Yes. Tauschak? Yes. Hildebrand? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Next item on our agenda is a pro uh, proclamation. Uh, tonight, the chair will entertain a motion to uh, recognition of Con Constitution Week in the city of Plymouth being September 17th to the 23rd, uh, 2023. And we have with us tonight some representatives from the DAR and if they would want to address uh, the issue I would certainly allow that so Freddie do you want to do the talking for the group there's a microphone right there if you want in the it? it's right right in front of you it's okay. kind of up, up, up. you got yeah see there it, it is hello it, it, it should pick you up um, Sorry. this Constitution Week is an amazing opportunity for every one of us to reread this amazing document that is the safeguard of our American liberties. And we would like to encourage every American citizen to reread it, to take some time during Constitution Week to reflect on our heritage of freedom and then come back together to celebrate America. Thank you so much for what you do for this community. We appreciate your efforts. And thank you, Mayor Promo, for this proclamation. Thank you very much. Uh, the chair will entertain a motion to approve the proclamation. I'll read it first. Whereas the Constitution of the United States of America, the guardian of our liberties, embodies the principles of limited government in a republic dedicated to rule by law, Freddie, if you want to come And whereas September 17th, 2023 marks the 236th anniversary of the framing of the Constitution of the United States of America by the Constitutional Convention, and whereas it is fitting and proper to accord official recognition to this magnificent document and its memorable, memorable anniversary and to the patriotic celebrations which will commemorate it. And whereas, and I didn't know this, so this is interesting, Public Law 915 guarantees the issuing of a proclamation each year by the President of the United States of America designation September 17th to the 23rd as Constitution Week. Now therefore be it resolved that I, Mayor Don Coleman, be in virtue of the authority vested in me as Mayor of the City of Plymouth, Wisconsin, to hereby proclaim the week of September 17th through the 23rd it's Constitution Week. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Thank Appreciate you. it. Do you want to take that? Oh, yes. Oh, hold it this way. <laughs> You're going to do this right. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So with that, the chair will entertain a motion to approve the proclamation as read. So moved. Second motion. We have a first and a second. Any discussion? All in favor. What is Mike? The, what is the AR? The Daughters, Daughters of the American Revolution. Revolution. I should have said that part, I suppose. Any other questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming this evening. Yes, thank you. Moving on to item 8, new business extraterritorial survey map seeking approval part of the southwest corner 
of the northwest corner of the northeast one third section, nine town 15 north range 21 east, town of Plymouth, Sheboygan, Wisconsin, also known as N6777 Sportsman Lane. Uh, this was, I'll ask Tim Blakely to give us a brief summary on this, Tim. Sure, so um, there is a typo in the memo. It says July 7th, 2023. It was discussed at Plan Commission, but this was just discussed last um, Thursday, September 7th. Um, so property owners, uh, Beth and Matt Garney, would like to divide a portion of their parcel into lot one and out lot two. My understanding is, is they're going to sell lot one to a, to a family member. Um, the city of Plymouth serves as our plat review jurisdiction for this property. Um, so the proposed CSM is attached and staff does recommend approval. Um, at the plan commission meeting, uh, plan commission did unanimously recommend approval of the CSM as presented. Thank you. The chair will entertain a motion so we can discuss. I'll make a motion to approve the exoterritorial survey map as written. I second. We have a first and a second. Any discussion? <coughs> All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Moving on to item B approval of encroachment agreement with single. Properties LLC, also known as Scooters Coffee, on parcel 5927-1821072. Administrator Tim, will you give us a brief summary on that, please? Sure. So a uh, single property, which is AKA Scooters Coffee, recently finished construction um, over on Eastern Avenue. Uh, following construction, uh, scooters notified the city they had discovered they had built four at inches into the setback line on, on the north side of the property. Um, scooters, to their credit, did, did um, kind of tell on themselves. Um, this was a result of an accidentally buried setback line marker. Um, Pete sort of described that the setback line marker is sort of a two by four that's typically in the ground. That got buried during construction. Uh, there was another marker saying where the setback line marker was supposed to be. Um, and they used that as the set by, setback line marker. Uh, as a result, the building was built four inches too close. Um, so the attached agreement does grant Scooter the license to encroach on the setback by four inches. Um, should the building be damaged greater than 50%, they would have to, to rebuild only to the setback line. Uh, there is a period of, of time that if the city wishes to regain that setback, we just have to provide notice to Scooters and they would have to vacate the setback. So I worked with Attorney Fieber to, to get this agreement put together. Uh, Scooters uh, Coffee is, has signed the agreement and, and is willing to enter into the conditions as requested. Uh, so staff does recommend approval of the encroachment agreement with uh, single property LLC. Thank you. The chair will entertain a motion so we can discuss. I'll move to approve the encroachment agreement. Second. We have a first and a second. Any discussion? Sounds like a rare situation. Very rare, yep. And um, they did come forward themselves and state that they were in violation. Correct. Any other questions? Clerk will call the roll on the encroachment agreement, please. Hildebrand? Yes. Nelson? Yes. Penquitz? Yes. Matzdorf? Yes. Tauschak? Yes. Gilson? Yes. Herman? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Moving on to item C, approval of contract with ZR LLC for concrete curb installation on parcel 5927-1813537. Formerly the Struts building, that's the one that's in back by Stair Junior uh, Lions Park for reference. Uh, as far as placement goes, and uh, Kathy, did you want to give us a summary or Tim? I'm happy to do a quick okay. summary. Um, so the Redevelopment Authority has allocated funds for a, a pocket park in this, the former Struts financial space. Uh, more details of that potential park will be coming to you at the next meeting. The, the landscape contractor is sort of going through some revisions uh, to get us final drawings. 
uh, regardless of if a park is going to go in that space, there needs to be a concrete um, curb to protect against cars um, going up into that spot. Uh, so we're, um, Kathy worked with ZR Construction to get a, a quote uh, for the curb, so that is attached. Uh, we have funding available in the 2023 contingency. Um, the cost is $6,700. Um, happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Chair, I'll entertain a motion so we can discuss. Let me make the motion to approve the quote from ZR LLC in the amount of $6,700 to come from the contingency fund. Second. We have a first and a second. Any discussion? <coughs> Clerk will call the roll, please, on the item for $6,700 from the contingency. Gilson? Yes. Nelson? Yes. Tauschek? Yes. Hildebrand? Yes. Herman? Yes. Matstorf? Yes. Penquits? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Our next item is going to be for closed session, and when we come out, we will be taking a vote out of closed session. At this point, the chair will entertain a motion to go into closed session pursuant to Wisconsin statute 19.85 per N1 per NG, conferring with legal counsel for the government body who is rendering oral or written advice concerning strategy to be adopted by the body with respect to litigation in which it is or is likely to become involved and pursuant to Wisconsin Statute 19.85, per N1, per NF, considering financial, medical, social, or personal histories or disciplinary data of specific persons, preliminary, primarily cons consideration of specific personal problems or the investigation of charges against specific persons, except where Paragraph B applies, which, if discussed in public, would be likely to have substantial adverse effect upon the reputation of any person referred to in such histories or data or involved in such problems or investigations regarding 413 North Street, City of Plymouth. Mayor, I'll move that we go into closed session. Second. We have a. For the record, we're now back in open session. The chair will entertain a motion on the closed session item. Who wants to make the motion? Uh, well, somebody has to. I'll make the motion that we. Uh, uh, approve or direct the uh, raisin or restore order for 413 North Avenue. North Street. North Street and uh, direct staff to carry. <laughs> I don't know yeah, move it forward. Move it forward. Sure. I'll second. We have a first and a second. Any discussion? Court will call the roll for motion on closed session, please. Panquitz? Yes. Matsdorf? Yes. Herman? Yes. Hildebrand? Yes. Tauschik? Yes. Uh, Nelson? Yes. Gilson? Yes. Motion carried. Next item, Chair will entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. We have a first and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes.